This is horrible. A young man was filmed stabbing his wife multiple times in broad daylight outside of her residence. And the reason he did it will shock you. On the 11th of November 2023, a viral video circulating around the internet showed a young man physically attacking a woman with a knife, stabbing her multiple times until people came to her rescue. This horrible incident happened in Cape Peninsula University of Technology in South Africa and the young man who was identified as 25 years old in Tembeko in Yalo was said to be a student of the school along with his wife. Together, they both have a little child, a seemingly happy marriage that is fruitfully blessed. However, it turned out that something must have gone wrong. What would have made Mtembeko pick up a knife to brutally stab and attempt to kill his wife and the mother of his child in broad daylight? Even at a public place, was he possessed by demons or did something really happen that triggered this monster? When the video began circulating around the internet, Many people did not even have time to question what could have gone wrong. They just knew that this was sickening, given the fact that not long ago, or pretty much the day before, the story of another South African man who had butchered his co-worker and took a selfie with the body was already circulating. So this story was already trending when Mtembeko was killing his wife, almost in the same manner, attacking her publicly in a public space where he knew many people were watching, but he wasn't scared and he couldn't care less. And when people saw this, it was just pure madness at this time. Nobody really wants to know what happened. Instantly, while he was attacking his wife, outside of her lodge, outside of her residence, because they are both students in the same school, in the same Seaput University, other students saw him do it. Other people, other people were watching him do this. He had even stabbed her about 12 to 15 times before people came around to stop him. And he even tried to attack these people who had come to rescue his wife, who was already laying half dead in her pool of blood on the floor. Mtembeko quickly turned around to face off these people who were coming to stop him from killing his wife. However, with their few numbers, over time, when words started getting around, he was overpowered. A crowd of angry students, seeing what he had done, pounced on him. He was dealt with before being handed to the authorities. His wife was said to have been rushed to the hospital immediately. And as at the time of making this video, it's being said she's currently receiving treatment. And knowing she's probably responding to her treatment and there's a chance she may get better from the multiple stab injuries, the story behind what pushed him to do what he did is now circulating around the internet. Someone who had gone to visit the wife in the hospital came out to speak up as to the woman's side of the story. And from what is being said, it turned out that the wife was gruesomely attacked by her husband all because she said she was done with the marriage. It was clear that they had uh, issues in their situation. It was clear that their marriage was hanging by a thread. Pretty much, she was done with him and she was even thinking of moving on. Funny enough, it was said that on that day, she had gone on a date with another man. And I think that was what could have set him off. But you see, the story goes a little further than that. Before the wife said she was going to move on, it turned out that Mtembeko had done something horrible, something unforgivable that the wife felt she can't forgive this and she can't continue to stay in the marriage. And that was why she was talking or she was already moving on because what he did was unforgivable. Despite already being married, despite already having a child together, Mtembeko turned out to be a sick, abusive and horrible husband who is also a rapist. According to the story, he had done something to another lady. He had forced himself on another woman at a different time and it's not clear if that was a case that was pending or if it was already a case that was known but it's been said that after the case of him or the accusation or the story or the truth or the fact that Mtembeko had forced himself on another woman, his wife felt sick to her stomach. He was, his wife was irritated and was pretty much done with the whole marriage. She felt like she cannot continue being with a rapist 
who according to the allegations was also abusive to her you see the beating that happened uh in the public with the knife was not the first time it turned out that before it got to that extreme or before it got to that extent he had a history of physically abusing her beating her up from time to time obviously i would not doubt that a, a man who is capable of stabbing his wife or a woman or anybody at all in public oh I, why not why wouldn't i believe that he was already abusing her and beating her secretly while they were married so given his abusive nature which i was guessing the wife was managing and forgiving and staying in the marriage regardless he also turned out to be psychotic rapist and that was when the wife knew that there was no need staying it's not that he was even cheating alone he was forcing himself on other people and that made her sick and she decided that she was going to move on and i guess intembeko was trying to fix the relationship it's not stated it's not clear but it seemed like he was trying to get things back but the wife was already done with him like she was not going to go back to him he's a monster and i'm sure there is so much more that he had done that has not been said but from what we are hearing now that was what he did and after she was done he did not take it well in fact on that said day that he attacked her it was said that he had learned that she had gone on a date with somebody else she had already started making plans to move on with her life and so he called her and they agreed to see outside of her hostel outside of her residence outside of her lodge and he confronted her about seeing another man and the fight started and that was when he picked out the knife and began stabbing her multiple times some sources said she was stabbed about 20 times other sources said she was stabbed about 11 times luckily for her people came to her rescue she was rushed to the hospital and currently as at the time of making this video she's still alive and receiving treatment while in tembeko has been taken to court and he is going to face charges for most likely attempted murder and you know aggravated assault and pretty much every other thing or any other thing that he would have done along the way the ironic thing is that these pictures of stop violence against women were pictures posted on his facebook so this is a man aware of the gender-based violence that is going on in south africa this is a man who has according to his images on his facebook have spoken up against um, gender-based violence against women these are pictures that he posted on his facebook and yet the ironic part of all of this is that he is the one ending up causing harm to another woman who is his wife the mother of his child it's just a very disturbing thing to see and a disturbing thing to witness i am so happy that he was stopped i am so happy that people were bold enough to confront him i am so happy that people stood up to him i wish they came earlier but it's a good thing because if he was let just like the way we saw in the other story he would have finished our off because the story we did with the steel water where the man butchered his co-worker in broad daylight in front of everyone and even went as far as taking pictures with the corpse and then waited for the police to come fearlessly it gotta be rude because people should hide you should be afraid to kill someone you should be afraid to commit a crime like this that is what a crime should feel like when you're committing it you should be afraid of being caught but the way these people do it it feels like they have some form of confidence that the law will back them up that the law will be on their side some way somehow because i don't understand where this confidence where this fearlessness where this gods to commit such gruesome crime in public is coming from i don't know i don't know why they are so fearless it's just unfortunate the rate of gender-based violence in south africa is something that is in discourse it's something that we've been talking about for a long time the crimes are usually some form of this kind and it's horrible it's sad i'm so happy that people stood up to him i'm so happy that people came out i'm so happy that this woman had people who did not just sit back and watch it happen like the way we saw at steel waters i'm so happy that the student at the seaport showed up, showed out, beat the hell out of him and took the woman to the nearest hospital for treatment. If not for them, I don't think she would have been alive today. It's just an unfortunate situation. It's just sad. I don't know, like, how do you, where do people find monsters like this? 
I do hope he rots in jail. I don't see him getting out of this. Even if the wife survives, I hope the time he gets to serve in jail should be life in prison because somebody like this is not who you want to release back into the world this is not somebody you want to bring back into the society whatever the law decides on him i hope it's internal and forever i wouldn't mind a death sentence but okay i'm sure he'll most likely get life i doubt though if the wife survives he might just get 25 at least or 25 to life. i don't even know but i hope he gets life i don't know you guys let me know your thoughts